Security precautions must be taken while making digital payments. We should take few precautions to make digital transactions safe as should avoid public computers, Wi-Fi networks. When making online transactions it would bode well to avoid using public devices or Wi-Fi networks since they are more prone to cyber attacks, theft, and other fraudulent activities. It is also important to use only reputed, verified websites. Use Advanced Anti-Malware Program. Watch out for security vulnerabilities in your PC. Make sure you are using a secure connection. Deal with reputed websites only. Use credit cards for online shopping. Do not use public computers. Set a strong and complex password. Aside from the above mentioned, secure digital payments can go a long way in helping stakeholders and reduce the cost per transaction. The main reason for this is that secure payment systems are protected against unauthorized access and do not allow any chance for fraud. Regularly check your financial statements, turn on two-factor authentication, verify your payment recipient, have a dedicated payment method for online transactions, use biometric authentication when possible, double-check QR codes moreover at the end of the business day, an employee has to take the cash and checks to the bank to deposit them into a checking account, basically, one of the reasons why digital payment is better than cash is that it frees up time and makes cash flow more seamless than ever for businesses in all industries if they're paying online. They can and enter their account information from home on their own time, meaning they're not holding up a line at all. Basically, one of the reasons why digital payment is better than cash is that it frees up time and makes cash flow more seamless than ever for businesses in all industries. Instant Payment Electronic payments are much faster than the traditional methods of payments such as cash or check. Higher Payment Security Better Customer Convenience Saves Processing Costs Low-risk digital payment methods are convenient, and transactions are faster. Cash at pickup windows means lineups. In-app payments or tap and go are faster and take seconds at checkout. Some companies have started businesses pre-COVID without accepting cash to accelerate lineups at peak hours of theft. Transparent and contactless. The foremost reason is easy and convenient life. People find it convenient to prefer digital payment over traditional ways of payment. You can always keep a record of how much and where you are spending. Digital payment saves you from threatening incidents like snatching. Disadvantages of online payments Service fees. Payment gateways and third-party payment processes charge service fees. Inconvenient for offline sales. Online payment methods are inconvenient for offline sales. Vulnerability to cyber criminals. Reliance on telecommunication infrastructure. Technical problems. All of this takes a lot of time, especially over several business transactions each day. You can likely already see why digital payment is better than cash. It's simply much faster. When businesses accept digital payments, customers only need to grab a card and swipe or tap it. Digi Cash advantages are anonymity for customers and the possibility of recovering lost coins by giving the bank their serial numbers. Digi cash disadvantages are that merchants must reveal their identity to the bank to cash the coins and that both of them and their customers must open accounts at the same bank. The digital payment ecosystem of India is expanding with the growth of different payment channels. The government has contributed to the growth of fintechs by redefining the services through the introduction of strategies like OP, IMPS, AKYC, and Aadhaar as an authentication method. There are several advantages of a cashless society, such as a lower risk of violent crime, lower transaction costs and fewer issues of tax evasion. However, there are also concerns that a move to a cashless society could cause privacy issues and problems for those on low incomes and with bad credit histories. An increasing number of people use a payment companies because they can make it easier to transfer money and make purchases. They also mean you don't have to share your card details. Disadvantages of a debit card are no grace period. Because funds immediately leave your account when you buy things, you can't borrow funds on credit. Checkbook balancing. Less protection than a credit card. Fees. Doesn't improve your credit score. No reward points. Merchant blocks. No digital payment app used in India is completely secure. They are of the view that wallets and mobile banking applications in India are not using hardware level security that is mandatory for secure online transactions. Digital money is not only safer but also a lot more secure. Most banks and financial institutions will offer the transfer of money via electronic means. This means that the bank cannot raise the money back to you. It is a great way to send money without having to worry about getting into trouble with paper money. Electronic money is currency that is stored in banking computer systems. 
Electronic money is backed by fiat currency, which distinguishes it from cryptocurrency. Although electronic money is often considered safer and more transparent than physical currency, it is not without its risks. One big disadvantage of a cashless society is that you would need to have some form of bank account. Theoretically, this would give banks a monopoly on money. Without more competition, financial institutions could charge more punitive fees for holding funds and allowing customers to carry out transactions. If you want to keep your money safe, use electronic bill payments instead of personal checks. Some people cling to their checkbooks, but the traditional checkbook is going the way of phone booths, VCRs and newspapers hence lesser use of paper and beneficial. Thanks a lot of watching the video please feel free to give suggestion, send motivational videos for the of benefit society, raise your voice by making and sending plays, stories etc let us create awareness together. Please feel free to call us if you require any help. You can also be a part of our team or channel as a member or associate please call us our contact phone no at 9818003999 or on another phone no at 9540003999 or email at info.consumertimes at gmail.com visit our website www.consumertimes.in please like this video please like share and subscribe our channel will motivate our team to work hard thank you